Hey guys, this is Nick from ForexNoobs.com with some EURUSD weekly analysis for week starting Sunday the 2nd of December 2012. You're looking at a EURUSD 4 hour chart and in this analysis I'm going to go through some of my support and resistance areas and I'm also going to show you where I possibly plan on entering some reversal trades. We're going to start with resistance areas. Resistance areas are any area above current price and current price is defined as last week's close which was about here. So the resistance areas on uh, on the chart this week, uh, the first one is 13000 through to 13020. Now this one's been moved down slightly since last week. Last week it was around about up here or something. Now this is perfectly normal. Support and resistance areas do move a little bit from time to time. It's usually just 10 or 20 pips. I call it a support resistance area migration. So it just moves a tiny bit and the thing to remember is recent data is always the most important when it comes to placing support and resistance recent data is the most important and because we've been getting bounces from slightly lower recently it just makes sense to move uh to move this area slightly lower so uh it's been moved down to 1.300 through to 1.3020 we had two bounces from here last week so this is a pretty strong area of resistance there's definitely sellers grouped up in this area so sellers grouped up here and they want to push price down. So uh, this week, if we get a bit of a move down and then price comes back up, I'll be looking for some signs of indecision here as per the rules of my trading strategy, which I've linked to below. I'll be looking for some signs of indecision so I could possibly take a short reversal trade. Okay, next uh, is the 13130 through to the 13150 up here. Now this is another strong area of resistance. It's uh, this one is very very strong. In fact, this one's had a lot of uh, well, it's had two major bounces. So it's not about the amount of bounces, but it's just about how much price has moved away from this area last time it bounced. So last time it bounced, it moved away quite a lot, and then the time before that, which was here, it moved away even more. So see that? It stopped such a strong move. So there's definitely sellers grouped up here and they're wanting to push price down. So if buyers uh, push up to this um, resistance area here, I'll be looking for some signs of indecision. So I could possibly enter a short reversal trade. So this is a very strong resistance area. Uh, the buyers are going to have a, a lot of trouble breaking this area. There's loads of sellers uh, in this area. So watch out for this. If you're in a long trade already, you may want to set your 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 uh, exit here, or you may want to tighten stops as price approaches this area because we're very likely to get a bounce from here. Now, if price does break this area, uh, the next uh, support resistance area is the one three two forty through to the one three two sixty. So that's this one up here. It's another pretty strong resistance area. Price hasn't been uh, up there in quite some time. But if price comes up here, I'll definitely be looking for some signs of indecision and I'll be looking to enter a short reversal trade as per the rules of my trading strategy, which again is linked to below and uh, that's completely free by the way. All right, let's check out the support areas. Uh, support areas, first one is 1.2890 through to the 1.2910. Now this is a pretty strong support area. We got a nice bounce from it last week. I mean, check that out. Uh, that was a nice reversal trade here last week um, quite a profitable one so yeah we got a nice uh, reversal there last week and we're probably going to see uh, if price comes down here we're probably going to see a nice reversal this all this week so if price comes down here i'll be looking for some signs of indecision and i'll be looking to take a bullish reversal trade and if you're in a short trade already if price comes down to here you may consider exiting here or at the very least tightening your stops because we're likely to either see price stall in this area before moving down or we're likely to see a possible reversal from this area okay next is the 1.2810 through to the 1.2830 this is another strong area of uh, support this week um, it has some pretty good history well, we can see it stalled there before moving down a bit eventually it broke up and if i move my chart back a little further you'll see some more bounces so this is a strong area of support 1.2810 through to the 1.2830. If uh, buy, if sellers come down to here, 
I'll be looking to possibly enter a buy position depending on the kind of indecision we get here. So I'll be looking to enter a possible reversal trade here. Uh, and finally, um, the 1.2765. Now this is a minor area of resistance, but it has been causing a lot of problems for EURUSD lately. It tends to get stuck on this level. It tends to bounce from this level. Uh, we could see a bounce there and then a nice little reversal here. So this area is something to watch out for. If price comes back down here, watch out for the 1.2765. And we'll just look at one more because this uh, 1.2765 was only minor support. So this one here, another major support area, 1.2700 through to the 1.2720. Um, if the sellers make it all the way down to here, I'll be looking for some signs of indecision to enter a possible bullish reversal trade because there's definitely buyers group down here. You can see a recent bounce there, nice reversal set up there. So um, that could have been a nice entry. Um, the, the one problem with uh, entering a reversal trade here is this uh, minor level is gonna stand in the way. So you may wanna be careful for that. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be looking out uh, for bounces from this level if I enter a reversal here. So if I enter a reversal, I'm going to be watching out just in case it bounces from there, kind of like it did here, but on the long side, see that? I wouldn't want that to happen if I'm in a reversal trade, obviously. So uh, that pretty much wraps it up for the EURUSD weekly analysis for this week. I'm going to be in the Forex chat room all week. It's a free Forex chat room. Uh, if you want analysis updates, come talk to me, come uh, ask me questions. I'll be in the chat room all week. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this analysis. Have a great trading week.